Welcome back guys on this video we're talking about how Angad Sahib Bhagav married in the new series Strings of Love apparently guys um a lot happened that led to the build up of the marriage first um Saiba's sister Sirat was actually fixed to marry Angad Abi and then at the wedding day something like that um the girl that is Sirat who was all over Angad before wedding now realizes that she is not in love with Angad and that she has another lover that she wants to marry. She elopes with her lover and her lover is also somebody in the series. But let me not shall give the spoiler for now. She elopes and run away with her lover. And now the family have to swap Sahiba and put her in place of the girl to get married to the Angad guy. Another story of forced marriage. So now the question and the update in this video is... Will Angad accept Saiba? What will be the reaction? And also, is Saiba even aware that of the conspiracy that their family are putting her through? Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Let us jump straight into the video of today without wasting any of your time. The episode starts with um Angad announces that he will not change his mind and that he is ready to marry Sahiba. That is after finding out the truth, finding determination in Angad's eye. Inda tells him that. He knows Angad will not change his mind, but he cannot watch his son destroy his own life due to anger. Inda even refuses the regime of ruining Angad's life, just like he ruined in this life a long time ago. Why the regime remains silent? Meanwhile, Manvi takes Angad's hand to stand in front of Sahiba and asks Ang and as Angad gazes at Sahiba angrily, Manvi questions if he really wants to marry Sahiba. Mavi says that Angad is not in his right state of mind as he's angry because of the betrayal Sirat gave him and also does not want and does not know what he's doing. Angad's face remained cold stone. Noticing the pensive look at the face of Monga family, Mavi announces that they will go home and will let the Monga family go home to without calling the police. He announces that he does not want any more discussion as he has already decided to marry Sahiba why he maintains his gaze on Dariji. So when he picks up the cloth when he picks up the long cloth for the ritual, Saiba angrily states that she will not marry him. She shocked everyone. Taji then asks Saiba aside takes Saiba aside and talks to her while the rest of the Monga family follows them. Afterward, Taiji informs Saiba that if a girl remains unmarried even after walking the eye, then there is no other person that will marry her. In reply, Saiba says that she will tolerate all the thorns or will not sacrifice her dream with tears in her eyes. Saiba says that she will become a big artist so their problem will be solved soon. As, as she says that she wants to fulfill her family wishes, Ajit puts his hand on the shoulder to make her understand that she has to do it for Kirat's sake. Ajit makes Saiba understand that the family reputation lies in Saiba's shoulder so she needs to marry Angad, to which Saiba questions Ajit about what will happen to her dreams then if she marries the Angad. Saiba says that this is wedding. Saiba says that this wedding will suffocate her dreams, but Ajit announces that God is taking Saiba's test only. Ajit also tells that Saiba will not give up on her dream as she is sure Saiba will be able to fulfill her dream while Daiji listens to the conversation from a distance. Daji then questions Saiba if she is ready for the marriage and Saiba nods her head that she is ready for the marriage to save her family's dignity. Afterward, afterward, when Saiba, Daiji and the Monga family arrives back at the wedding venue, Jack Joyce tries to question Daiji about what he is thinking but Daiji orders everyone to stay silent. He announces that now there will be no more delay and Angad and Saiba will marry each other. Later, Saiba and Angle circles with poker faces while Angad imagines Sirat's presence, which brings a smile to his face. Whereas Sahiba feels that this is the end of her dreams. Once the wedding is done, Taiji orders Sahiba to throw some rice in Santosh Dubata, which she has spread like a net to collect it. As Sahiba is about to throw it, she notices her bango has tangled with each other. But when Taiji requests Angad to help Saiba, Angad walks away angrily. Kirat comes to help Saiba and she bids farewell to her family. So apparently the deal here is that they are married. But when they got home, the family refused to accept Saiba as their daughter-in-law. And that is how Saiba struggle a story of trying to prove herself to be ideal daughter-in-law, whatever, whatever. 
started because obviously in India series that's how it is is well for them to like accept their daughter in law. Daughter in law have to suffer first, you know, he herself for the family. For them to accept her. Probably even I don't know. But um Sahiba's case Sha, I pray that the husband falls in love. And also after some time the sister who eloped that is the um Sirat girl will come back, you know. And I don't know. I just pray sure that when she comes back, she doesn't come and be dragging man with the Sahiba that have sacrificed her dream because he did not used to hurt them. She will not come and remember that, okay, I, 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 I'm in love with him. I was not ready then, but now I'm ready. I'm back for him. To not hurt her. But anyways, this is wedding episode. Thanks for watching. And uh, what do you think about another first marriage again on Star Life? I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.